all last. Oh, we're streaming. <laughs> <laughs> it's live from the asylum. Starring Michael Wachowski. Elise Ivino. Carolyn Vesha. Sam Zell Brand. Aaron Shore. Uh, Jennifer Prescott. And returning for a special appearance, Xavier Curry. Tonight's suggestion is... Whistle. Whistle. Sam, what are you doing? Oh, uh, I don't know. I, I heard something. I'm just just wiping down the uh, the counter. Don't do it. I did. Someone just cat call you. What? Oh. Through the window. I don't know. I just heard something. And then they and then they left. Oh. oh. Did I say how much I love having you back behind the bar? Oh, thank you. I, and you, also that you missed a spot right there. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, you know, I've been reassessing my, uh, you know, my career. And I think, uh, I don't know, I almost have tenure here, I guess. So stock options, benefits, all that jazz. <laughs> Maybe it's not such a bad job. Okay, uh, I'm confused. Is there HR here? Uh, oh. Hey. Oh, hey. Oh. I'm at the hey. window. Mm -hmm. Oh, the, the door's oh, open over the, here. Open the window. Oh. Sam? Oh. I'll just go. Oh, all right. Door. Oh, he's going to the door. He's going around. Oh. Oh, he okay. opened it for me. Oh, oh okay. no. Okay. He's going back. He's Wait. going back to the window. Yeah. 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 <laughs> hey. Xavier. Hey. Hey. Oh, my gosh. What is, is that? that? Is that seriously you? It's me. I came running back to the asylum, you guys. Oh, it's why see you. I don't know. There's just some irresistible energy that's pulling everyone to the asylum these days. It's there. I mean, yeah. I have made a lot of changes since I, you know, started managing the place. Do you notice? Do you notice? Oh my gosh. Can you describe them for me? It's hard for me to identify. Well, as exactly. you can see, as you can see, Sam, I mean, he's a completely new employee. I mean, look at him. He's actually wearing a uniform. His hair's combed. He actually cleans. You know, wow. he's motivated. That's well, I don't know if I'd go that far, but. Wow. Here. Sam, has your, hair, has your hair always been like a light brown like that? I thought your hair was just dark brown, but you're just washing it. Is that the difference? Uh, I guess I've. I don't know. I guess uh, I guess maybe I've been uh, using a new shampoo. You know, you know, Elise, Sam is more handsome and strikingly beautiful than ever. I'm just like, there's so many girls that are walking by the window and they're just whistling. That, I thought I heard that earlier, right? Yeah, like that's what you're that's what you're hearing. The town is ablaze. Sam, wait a second. I have an idea. What? You know how like at Abercrombie and Fitch, we put like, they put models outside shirtless to attract people in. Why don't we put Sam outside to attract girls? And I mean, honestly, you're like, I don't know, maybe you're coming into season, Sam. <laughs> yeah, it's so, our season. It's Sam's season. <laughs> Sam's season. Whoa, whoa. There's Let's a full moon in Sam and it's attracting people. Let's cut to that scene. <gasps> Hey, uh, 
it's a new me. I'm uh, so I'm going to start, you know, telling jokes. Sure. I don't have a shirt right now, but uh, you know, um, I think I'm ready to start making people laugh again. Oh, hello. Uh, hey, do you like jokes? Do you like, do you like jokes? You want to hear a joke? Oh, anybody want to hear a joke? Oh, hello there. Do you, do you want to hear a joke? Any? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Joke. No, you're just walking by you. Uh, just bend over. I cut back to uh, the bar uh, with Elise and me and Sam. Okay. So I feel like, you know, here's the thing. People can't be attractive and funny at the same time. And it's like, you're trying <laughs> to ask them about jokes and stuff. And it's really killing your sexy. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, Sam, you need to choose. You're either going to be hot and sexy and attractive or you're going to be funny. Cut yeah. to uh, the pharmacy with Aaron and Michael in line. <laughs> and I'm just telling you, it's kind of unfair that Chris Hemsworth is that funny and that attractive all at once. Like, fuck him. I can't believe he's yes, that Yes, we all know that he's cheating me on the system, but there's no way to rectify the situation. I mean, there's Ghostbusters no 2016 appeal. was not a great movie, but he was one of the funniest parts of it. And it's still just unabashedly unfair that he is that talented. This is, there's no damn. point obsessing about this. It's not going to change. Chris is going to keep being Chris and... You're just building this up into your own head for nothing. Sorry, man. Let I'm just go. I'm just psyching myself out. I haven't had a flu Let shot it go. in like I haven't had a flu Let shot in like ten out. years, man. I'm a little nervous, a little scared. It's okay. Uh, it's fine. It's just a little needle, and you'll be fine. That's why I'm thanks, here. Thanks for coming with me. Oh god, that's an idea. It's 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 okay. Hello, you ready for a squirt squirt in your veins? <laughs> in my veins? I think you screwed my arm. Very unprofessional way of saying. It. Like yes, yes, your arm vein. <laughs> Michael, Michael, he's got a he's got a, a moon scar on his right eye. <laughs> okay, and I it's guess. scary. So the doctor had a colorful past. It doesn't mean anything. <laughs> the this, happened, this happened yesterday. I was giving someone a shot, and they writhed so much in pain that they accidentally scratched me. Oh, that's all. Cut back to uh, cut to Sam's apartment uh, with Elise. See, Chris Hemsworth, he's funny and he's sexy. I mean, <laughs> and arousing fun. You make a good point. Although, look, Sam, this is going to come. I know I'm your boss, but right now it's off hours. You know, yeah. we're just chitting, chatting as friends. Yeah. You know, like maybe there's an in-between. I mean, since you were never really that funny, I feel like you don't have to choose fully. So, like, since your funniest is kind of funny, and your attractive was pretty attractive, I feel like we can, we can. I feel like you can be kind of a Chris Hemsworthy kind of ish. Ish. Okay. I mean, I well, like what you're doing with your hair. Oh, thanks. It's <laughs> new shampoo. It's apparently, it's apparently changing the color, but. Um, yeah, I guess I have to think on this. I mean, being funny is, uh, has, has been my life up to until the last few weeks. And, uh, you know, being attractive has never really crossed my mind. So I gotta- Maybe I gotta... you should embrace the sexy. <clears throat> embrace that. What if I was so sexy that it was funny? <laughs> oh, he's at, oh, the neighbor's at the window again. This is the best day. Xavier, you, you don't hey. ever use the door, do you? Anymore? No, I sure don't. Uh, I just wanted to run here because I actually got a ticket for you to sexy school, okay? <laughs> wow, that's really nice. Yeah, I, I ran into somebody I knew from college, and after a little bit of, you know, I was able to get you one for free. <laughs> wow, thanks. Wait, but do you, is there like a, is there like a funny school too? Sam, we said we were going to focus on sexy right I, now. Okay, Cut to right. uh, Aaron's apartment uh, with Michael. <laughs> you were such a baby in there. You were oh such God. a goddamn baby. What? I mean, you, can't, oh God. you, had, you had to cry. <laughs> you had to complain. You had to bleed. <laughs> you couldn't just take it like a man. <laughs> oh, God. My body hurts. I'm feeling all the chills of the body aches. 
<laughs> Your father must have been so disappointed. <laughs> you'll ever know. <laughs> uh, uh, Michael. It, can, yes. Can I can I can I request something? Sure. Look, it's just us. But is it okay if I is it okay if I just lie my head on your lap? <laughs> I just I need I need I need a lap to lie on and then my body just really hurts right now. I am going to regret this all. This is very this is strictly plutonic. Yes, I just ahead. need some comfort. I said go ahead before I change my mind. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Oh, your hair is so greasy. Oh. <laughs> Look, Go to the is... bar with Carolyn. Go to the bar with Carolyn. <laughs> so um, I hear Elise in her new managerial role is offering a lot of benefits to people. And I wonder <laughs> if I qualify because I did a 15 minute act the other okay. day. So yeah. I need a 401k maybe. Well, I suggest you get in touch with Elise because I, 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 you know, frankly, I'm starting to feel a little bit useless around here. You know, I basically spend 30 minutes a day at the asylum and the rest of the day I'm hanging out at the speakeasy. <laughs> Consider it a benefit, a perk even. So um, do you think the benefits might include like sick days and other <laughs> Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, apparently so, because Aaron, who I don't even think actually works here, got a flu shot, and yet he's getting sick leave. For what? I don't know. Uh, he's right here. Here. Oh my god, yeah. He doesn't even work here. Okay, this is cool. I I'm not even sure if he does. I have to ask Elise at this point. I'm feeling a little swollen glands. I did a 15-minute act, like I said, oh. so I think. All right. <laughs> Yeah, let me just let me just fill out this form and sign after, it up. Oh, uh, vacation days too. Yeah, after you're finished with your disability, uh, or you know. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. Excuse me, ladies. <laughs> I heard that someone was feeling sick in here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my, my, my employee. I Cut just, to Aaron's yeah. apartment again. <laughs> In 30 minutes do I wake him up? Oh, you're awake. <laughs> oh, he's not. Okay. He just <laughs> randomly <laughs> opens his eyes when he sleeps. That's not Michael, <laughs> Michael, I'm awake. I'm just half awake. Could could you do me a favor? Could you be half not laying on my lap? Could you just do me a favor, please? Oh, you have a very soft legs. <laughs> could you I do me a did, favor, please, I've man? That for many people. Yes. Could could you just <laughs> Could you just rub my head and tell me everything's gonna be okay? So you Please. so you want me to lie? Just yeah. Just, okay. Just rub my head. Tell me everything's there, gonna be okay. There, there. Everything will be okay. <laughs> uh, Michael, what are you doing? That's my eye, Michael. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm putting like no <laughs> effort or attention into this. Whatsoever. Okay, stop. Just stop. That's that's. Not... Cut to Can the I bar like with Elise. <clears throat> hey, Elise. Hey. Um, bar looks sparkling clean. Great. You like? Oh, do you see the curtains I put up? Oh, uh, curtains. Oh, boy. Well, we never had curtains before. They, they look great, though. Yeah. So um, we have some problems. I've been uh, hanging out at the Tiki Easy, and there's a gaggle of women who are talking about our sexy bartender. And yet... He's off at like sex school. Is it sex school or? Sex school? <laughs> I don't know. He could use both. And <laughs> we have no bread because our yeast baker has a sore arm. So, you know. But wait a second. Look, Aaron's not employed here anymore. You know, I make the bread now. I just haven't had time. I've been really busy. And then Sam, yes, he got a a free invite to sexy school because you know Xavier's back and then so he's off at sexy school and I'm trying to bake the bread and and you know I'm getting a little overwhelmed I think I've taken too much on I was wondering if, if you might need my help like maybe I, mean, I could, maybe I can assist again I mean 
I mean, technically, I think I work for you, so. Yeah, I mean, it would seem so, but I just. Sometimes it can be a bit overbearing. I'm sorry. But yes, please take all the responsibility back. I could use a break. Oh, God. Okay. Also, wait a second. One other thing. Um, This is kind of embarrassing. Let's just keep it between us. But and I'm really just not even asking for myself, for a friend. Um, Which girls were interested in Sam? Oh, my God. There's like. 12 women over at the the tiki not that i you know hang there that much but like all kinds of women and then these two older ladies are also interested i mean everybody in town i don't know what is he using prell or something i mean cut to the tiki he had new shampoo oh, cut to the tiki easy oh my god did you see that hot piece of meat over by the asylum Mm-mm, girlfriend i hate and i have to say i haven't seen her Slice of that since Ocean's 13. <laughs> Didn't Ocean 13 come out in like 2011 or something? <laughs> cut to, it's been cut that to, long, okay? Cut, it's been that long. Cut to uh, this is not a good looking neighborhood. Cut to uh, Sexy Academy with Sam and Elise. Welcome to Sexy Academy. I am your <laughs> professor, Professor Sexyson, the third. <laughs> Thanks for sneaking me in. Hey, thanks for coming. I it, and we got this great uh, seat by the window too, which is really cool. Now we're going to talk about one of the sexiest movies ever created by man. It's called Ocean's Thirteen. Most people believe that it came out in 2011, but they are quite wrong. It came out in 2007. It was one of the prime <laughs> years of cinema's history. And now, here we go. I'm going to show you a clip from the movie, and I'm going to sit here at my desk and drink from my flask. Click. This ocean is just so vast. Help. Help. Oh, it's... Oh, God, it's even worse than the previous 12 oceans. Oh, no. This is... Pause. Pause. (laughs) And I I should remind my class here that this will be on the too. All right, well, play, click. There's a test at the end? I didn't know. You know, Elise, I just, I wish Xavier was here so I could <gasps> thank him. I don't you know. know. <laughs> so, this is so nice of if him. If I don't make it, if I don't make it, George, I need you to, I need you to tell. Oh, you know, this you is to, pretty sexy. Is, is George Clooney funny? <laughs> I, need, I need you to tell Scarlett Johansson that I love him. Sorry, they ran out of budget for me to be in the rest of this movie. No! <laughs> oh, Mirabelle, this is so oh. sexy. They're swimming about in some sort of effluvium. <laughs> and a loincloth. <laughs> oh. This is it. This, this is when I tried. I to send the group on. This was a it, good deal. Oh, oh, this is this one you got right for a change, Gladys. Oh. Oh, Sorry, I'm late. Oh, Xavier, look at you. Okay, hey, here. You're here. Do you want to come through the window? Yeah, can you open? <laughs> Sorry. No, I, here, here. I, there Thank you go. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Come on. Saved you a seat. Do we look sexier? Yeah, you guys really look great. Funnier? Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm I'm sensing no funny energy. Um, it seems like that means we're depleted. sexy. That's right. And not Chris Chris Hemsworth. Oh yeah, he's so he's got everything. Well, if there's one lesson I learned today, it's that if you're ugly, you're really, really funny. And if you're funny, then, oh, I did it wrong. I only learned part of the lesson. I'm going to work. Cut to back to Aaron's apartment with Michael and Aaron. (laughs) I've been here for like six hours. I'm just going to sneak out while he's not here. All right, I'm away. Oh, God, no, he's still there. I forgot. I just I'm you moved. really numb down there. You moved. I know I moved. Listen, you're gonna have to sleep here on your own. I have to get to my thing. I can't even feel feel my legs. I'm gonna have to crawl the fuck out of here. Michael, this is my, it. Michael, my legs are having spasms right now. Could yes, you get me? Horse. Could you get me? Could you get me like an ice pack and and? No, ice I'm my... officially passing you off to somebody else. Michael, please come on, man. I've done things for you. Name one thing you've done for me. 
I let you live with me. Mm. I moved out last season. No, you know what? It's fine. I'll get you a damn ice pack. I'll be right back. Oh, and Michael, could you be a what? lamb? And, could, could you be a lamb? Could you be a lamb and make me no. an apple? Uh, can you make, could you be a lamb and make me an apple cider? <laughs> you don't want me to pour you an apple cider? For you an apple cider, you I want just, me to make I just you really an would, apple I would really, cider. I would really like. I have for you to, to find an orchard. I have to get a press. No, I have to make the fucking cider. No, 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 no. Oh God, I'm so weak. There is a pack of powdered apple cider on top of my. <laughs> Here's the ice pack. No, powdered okay. apple cider. I didn't even know that was a thing. Okay. Okay, it's on top of the microwave. Yeah, I, yeah, I, I just, got it. I, Swear to God, I didn't know this was a thing. Okay, it's it is a thing. Okay, my God, I can tell it's a thing. Yeah. Okay, now turn the kettle on. Make some hot water. Oh, oh, like... oh! You want hot cider? Oh I... God, that's an entirely different. Did I? You think a, a frail man like myself with flu vaccine side effects would want cold cider? You psycho! <laughs> <laughs> cut to the cut to the bar with a uh, um, Sam Mirabelle and. Um, and Gladys. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. Hey. Oh. Oh. Ladies, 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 I, listen, listen, I, listen, there's, I, 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 I stroke I, your I, cheek, baby. Ooh. Oh, like a baby's tush. Oh my goodness. Listen, what? listen, I, I, there's, there's, I hallucinated something lovely. I, I appreciate it, but I, 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 I gotta stay professional on the job here, okay? Like, whoa, whoa! Listen, here, I'll, I'll fix you a drink on the house. Just here. Can you make an old-fashioned Limericky grasshopper? Like, ah! oh, yeah. we are doing the Got bartending. <laughs> so Got it. Up here, there's a young man in the asylum who's very ill and could use some of our. Oh, some nursing back to health, huh? Yes, uh, a little bit of comfort. Oh, uh, you know, Gladys, why don't you go comfort him? I'm going to wait until happy hour when this bartender takes his top off. Oh, well, that's, that's actually... I don't know, I'm torn one or the other. We've, we've actually moved that to after happy hour. Um, oh. It's a new thing we're trying. Is it called angry hour? Uh... You know, it could be. We need to get Michael here for that. But... Oh, yeah. <laughs> Speaking of which, I haven't seen him or Aaron all day. I, I wonder where they're... Where they... uh, cut to Aaron's apartment. Uh, Listen, uh, here's your cider. Now I need to tell you something. Okay. Where the hell are you? I'm under the blankets. Hang on, let me get up. Okay, fine. <laughs> Listen, I need, to, I need to tell you something. You yeah. need to go out. You need to start dating again. And you have to meet a woman. Because that's what, because you need somebody to come here and take care of you. That's not me. Somebody who <laughs> finds all of this attractive. I mean, good luck with that, but it's not going to be me because I don't. Are we clear? You have to go. You have to find a woman who's willing to come here and take care of. I guess. It's Michael, 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 could you be a peach? And no, I'm not going to be a peach. <laughs> I'm not going to be a lamb. I'm not going to be a deer. <laughs> I'm not going to be a honey. I'm Michael. not going to be any other flavor, Michael. animal, fruit, <laughs> uh, uh, vegetable, or uh, 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 I don't even know what. Michael, could you be a peach and just get me some Advil from the cabinet? I've got body aches. That's it. I'm out. I'm going out. Come back to the bar with Elise and Sam. Oh. oh, actually, fine. Do yours. Come back. I'll be there. Oh, no matter. No, that's fine. Oh. Come. Well... All right, Elise, you know, now that I'm back and I'm feeling more in charge again, this place has turned into a disaster. I God damn this wig. You know, I've had it. No more Miss Softy. Elise, I'm, I'm tempted to suspend you, but instead I'm going to put you on errand duty. You're going to have yeah. to go up and take care of Aaron. Yeah, and we're rivals. We're, we're nemesises now. I can't. Well, sounds like it's a me a quadruple. Thing. Oh, hey, to Aaron's apartment, at least out in the front, knocking on the door. Knock, knock. What? Knock, knock. Why are you saying knock, knock? Sorry, I don't know what to say. I'm, I've been ordered here. 
<laughs> what are you doing here? I've been banished to Aaron duty. Come on in. You got some nice legs there. Come on, let's go. Oh God. Here. Hey, oh, what's going on in here? Uh, oh, Xavier, I, you come in here too. You got some good looking legs. <laughs> oh, thank you. But Cut these legs are very fur. quickly back to the ball. <laughs> so yeah, the point is if you go anywhere near Aaron's apartment, you get sucked in. It's like a black hole of human neediness and uh, uh, yeah. uh, blankets. <laughs> Boy, this is angry hour. I don't even need the angry weed. Aaron is an angry weed replacement. He's like the CDB of angry weed. <laughs> <laughs> Well, <laughs> I don't know. I think uh, I, th I, I think you'd use another drink. No, you, no, move. I'm sticking my head under the tap. I'm sticking my head under the tap. Just um, uh, keep it running. Uh, I, I don't know if the boss is going to be happy with this. She's kind of, I saw. Oh, the, the boss is uh, also stuck on Allen duty. Trust me. Uh, Oh, no, I'm not talking about we'll that never boss. Find out. I'm talking about the boss. I've seen her in a way I've never seen her before, and it's a little scary. Really? Yeah. Oh, that's kind of hot. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, just hope she doesn't see you behind the bar because that's not going to be good for either of us. Well, why would she see me? Carolyn is never here. She's at that speakeasy. I mean, she's <gasps> not oh, God, shit. Boss. So glad I'm getting sober again. What the hell is going on here? Jesus Christ. He, he it's angry hour. Ah, we're yeah, canceling sure. angry hour. No more all you can drink tap drinking. Okay. <laughs> so we're we're all happy then now, right? Uh yeah, now you I'm, I'm just happy I'm not on Aaron duty. <sighs> and scene. Yeah, that's <laughs> 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 Woo! Woo! Thank you all. Yay. Great to have Xavier back, the OG. Yes, yeah. thank you so much. Yeah, yes. great to buy you, Xavier. Yeah. yeah. My we peoples. love you. Hope to have you back again soon. Sure. Okay. Uh, uh, we have a minute or two for any promotions. Does anybody have something that they'd like to throw out there to the two or three people who are probably watching? Well, we got more than two. Okay. Yeah. Um, uh, 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 Aaron, then. Uh, yeah, um, if you're in the Atlanta area, uh, next Wednesday Dynamic, at Dynamic El Dorado at 9.30 will be Mining for Gold's uh, live stage version, if you want to come and check that out. Uh, we have a sign-up sheet. The first 20 people to sign up will be in the cast, and it cuts off there. It's COVID protocols. You must be fully vaccinated to play, and you must wear a mask in the audience. Optional on stage. Um, and then Saturday, October 30th, I'm doing a live table reading of my first unproduced screenplay of my table reading show. We are going to be doing George A. Romero's Resident Evil. Apparently, he was tasked by Sony Pictures in the late 90s to write a version of Resident Evil, and he did, and it was amazing. So that's going to be happening. We have a sign-up next week for the narrator next Monday, and then the following Monday will be sign-up for the cast. If you want to be involved with that, message me. Thank you, Aaron. Um, Xavier, did I see your hand up? Oh, yes. Okay, so for all the people in New York City, I'm in an improv duo called XP, and we have a show called The Level Up with XP, which is going to be on Sunday, October 17th at 8.30 p.m. We're going to have an improv showcase, lots of groups performing. Um, so if you're in the area, please come on by. Uh, the it'll be at the Magda Theater, and uh, it also has COVID vaccination requirements. Um, and yeah, if you're in a New York group or you know someone who is and they're looking for an opportunity to perform, tell them to hit me up so we can get them in the show. It's monthly and stuff like that. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Xavier. Uh, does anybody else have something? So, uh, okay, uh, Aaron and I just did an episode of the Dr. Fix Me podcast, so definitely check that out. Uh, 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 in, uh, in addition to this, I'm one of the co-founders of A Lot More Better Improv and Self-Expression, and we do blue humor jams, grounded scenes, jams, streaming shows, etc. So oh, definitely like, I can follow that. And otherwise, uh, we'll see you all next week. Uh, uh, thank you so much for uh, watching. Yay.